In today's video, we're gonna take a look at two very nice bottles of Ardbeg, both from Gordon and McPhail's Connoisseur's Choice range. So here we have it, two really interesting bottles of Ardbeg, uh, both from Gordon and McPhail's Connoisseur's Choice range, which was actually started in the 1970s and still goes strong to this day. So it's one of the most iconic independent bottlings of single malt whiskies that there's ever been really, in my opinion. So the first one here, we've got a 1965 distillation, 15 year old Ardbeg. And then here we've got a 1973-2003, so arguably a 30 year, 29, 30 year old bottling here. Now, let's first of all start by looking at the bottles. Clearly these earlier bottles have got a slightly fatter neck and a slightly broader shoulder on them as well. Now this has got the uh, United, uh, your, the UGB, United uh, Glass Manufacturers code under it of SC999, which is exactly what you would expect from a GNM bottling of this point or any bottling from this point. And then this one has also got a United Glass bottle code of uh, SD764, which is very typical for these connoisseurs choice as well. Now, just looking at the capsules, clearly the two are very different and anyone who's used to sort of seeing the Connoisseur's Choice bottlings will immediately note that this one's got a red capsule on it. Of course, they're both under parafilm as all our bottles are. But there's an interesting anecdote in Emmanuel Dron's book and he posits that this red cap was the possibly the first attempt of bottling with this brown or all the browns label as I like to call it, which is the second edition or the second label edition from the Connoisseur's Choice range. Now, this bottle is slightly later, obviously bottled in 2003. This is the second version of the map label that was used by Gordon and McPhail, which came into use in 2002. And this one's got a, a plastic stopper uh, cork closure underneath a capsule on it. Clearly this screw cap's got no capsule. And again, as is quite often the case, these screw caps provide much, well, they can provide superior closure and, and again, look at the level of difference on these. This one's fantastic, even though it's a, a good 20 years earlier. They're both bottled at 40%, as pretty much all Connoisseur's Choice bottlings are. Note that this one, because it's a 1980s bottling, is bottled at 75 centiliters, and then this one is bottled at 70 centiliters, with it being a later bottling. So these two bottles represent a real good opportunity to expand your collection, and to me, they, they are good starting points for anyone who's looking to start a collection. Now, when you're looking at the term collector, I think it's important to distinguish between a collector and an accumulator. And this sort of follows on with the antiques that we do. A collector is somebody who, who collects and purchases in a very narrow way. So you might collect Ardbeg Connoisseur's Choice bottlings. That's a very narrow, specific remit of bottling, a uh, year of collecting. But an accumulator also acquires a collection of bottles, but they do it indiscriminately. So they'll buy any single malt whiskey or they'll buy any, you know, any Isla bottling. Now, yes, you are collecting, but there's less discrimination. And to me, and when we've helped people sell their collections, it's the narrower and more focused collections that are always able to uh, achieve a higher price because they've got a greater depth to them. So these are two Connoisseur's Choice Bottlings. There's dozens of other Connoisseur's Choice Bottlings of Ardbeg. So they're good options because you can go from the very first editions with the black and red labels, all the way through to the Ardbeg Bottlings of Connoisseur's Choice that are available today. Now, this one, it's priced at 2,100 pounds or somewhere in that region on our shop. So it's not a really expensive bottle, not when you consider just recently Bottles of Folio 1 have been going for over £8,000 at auction, beyond me. But anyway, this looks like remarkable value in comparison. And then this one, 29, 30 year old bottling of Ardbeg, vintage age statement, uh, sorry, vintage and uh, bottling year declared on here. And this one's priced at £1,000 in our shop. So there we have it, two fantastic bottles of Ardbeg, both from the Connoisseur's Choice range, bottled by Gordon and McPhail. This one is a 1965 vintage, uh, 15 year old, 
and then this one, no age statement on it, but it's distilled in 1973, bottled in 2003. So it's either a 29 or a 30 year old bottling. And if you're interested in the history of Ardbeg, make sure you head over to our website because we've just published a really in-depth and comprehensive history of the distillery, which I'll link to in the, com uh, in, in the comments below. And if you want to learn more about these old and rare bottles, make sure you subscribe to our channel because we've got a lot more interesting content coming soon.